Hey everyone, it's Jason Klepa. Quick reminder to take your CrossFit level one. The t-shirt is eight years old, but the message is as important now as it was then, maybe even more important than ever. Go take your level one. It's gonna change your life. It's gonna change the life of every single person that you get to help because of it. It's an incredible course with incredible content. It'll help you change lives. It'll change your own life. It's a great way to dive into the methodology, to meet other like-minded people, and to start your coaching journey. Take your CrossFit level one. Take your CrossFit level one. It will be an experience you'll never regret. Look at that tricep. Go back to that position. Yeah, and yeah, then flex yeah. that bitch. Yeah, yeah, oh. which one? Which one's the tricep? And I gotta get my fanny pack on. Hell yeah. You have definitely taken a weird route. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I read this dude, Dave Asprey. He has a book called uh, Fastest Way. Uh -huh. And he pimps his product. He created a, I guess he says he created Bulletproof Coffee. So I uh, bought these little packets because I'm fasting a lot. So. You're fasting while you're here? He's not going to eat for seven days. Wow. Yeah. As his handler, do you advise that? I mean, we just have to get him a lot of coffee. Can I have a cup of coffee? Nope. Tell me. You can kill it. Looks like I hit the lotto twice. Work something. Oh. Uh oh, I, I, I better get some new shirts. <laughs> Have a good morning, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. He's taking a taxi. Oh. He, he can follow us in a taxi. Bye, guys. Thank you, I though. Offer. I understand. I knew things are different now. Get in. Stars are just like us. They even carry their own shoes. Remember that, too? We'll have access to this kind of area once the event starts. I think so. I'm not sure. If it's my call, you have no access. This wasn't my decision. Good thing there's other people. Yep. I'll say, let me say this. It's really cool. So this was, this was chipping and all messed up. But this is where the athletes walk through. So they walk through there, they come down. And we pointed it out to them in the venue. Quickly painted it and made it look fresh. So the venue's been great. Are you guys also Border Patrol? Yes, yes sir. Cool. Uh, offered up a free um, one day course to the Border Patrol team, the attack team in San Diego. And they took us up on it. Okay, good. Yeah, so That's we're going to, after the games, we're going to schedule a, uh, a one day intro to CrossFit course for them. Awesome. Yeah. They, they probably need more than an intro. They're pretty. I know, we'll start <laughs> with that. We'll start with that. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, very cool. Thanks yeah. for being here. Yeah. You excited? First time ever, yeah. Oh, awesome. Hi. Oh. Hi, nice always, to meet you. Always wanted to see you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. so Great. cool. Yeah, I yeah. will. Thank you so much. Nice Thank you. Guys. Yes. We're all going to have to be media stuff. Which media stuff? Like TV spots. Oh, okay. Yeah, the local TV. Yeah, I just did that. So, and then I was just sweating. Well, then I, I was like, I got to get something in, break it in. You know, you know how it is. I saw you, you know, I saw you biking from the terrace, so I had to try to keep up. Biking from the terrace. Biking, biking from the terrace. Looking down. I mean, look at this temple. Temple. Yeah, well, I mean, you got You have to nurture it. Yeah, you have to respect it. That's right. You have to respect it. What? 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 <laughs> you guys, are ridiculous. Is, is that's kind of the point, right? That is the that's point. That's kind of the point. point. It's like a fucking spoof. One minute transition. It's kind of quick. We're gonna hit the beep again. Beep. We're coming forward. 
not as hot as the yeah, next few days. Well doing, yeah. The next three are going to be our hottest days. Field, the best that we can, so that we see okay. those things, yeah. hopefully, right. as they happen. So the longer part, I think those things are better for safety. So they're more no, they're just turn around. Yeah. Tur turn, yeah. yeah. So turn them that way. No, is it this the right way? No. Because they're basically like you want it to be long ways this way, so if they step forward or back, they don't go off the platform. Well, here's the point. Here's the you know, at this point, are we going to change the numbers? I don't know. I don't know that it is it going to matter that much if the numbers over there. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Do it. Look right here, Dave. Turn them. Do it and see if you can get signage to rotate the numbers. Yeah, we'll that's do. low priority, but turning them. Yeah, priority. we'll do. It. Thank you. Yeah. How do you guys know what you're doing? How do we know? Uh, we were told what we were to do. <laughs> <laughs> we're just guessing. We're we're, we're eyeballing shit. Have you been given a team yet? Are we getting started? On that? Okay, you're gonna come with me then. We're on the greens. What point do you burn your ass? I mean, yeah. But. I think there's a point where we probably shouldn't do burpees. There's probably even a point where we shouldn't stand up for a long period of time. Yeah. In a single heavy. spot. Watch out. Why is and there four of you over there? I'm just doing my song right here. Hold on, hold on. Come, 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 come to me about two inches. Come that way about two inches. And slowly down. You guys are fantastic. I'm getting you out of here. I'm getting you Oh, my God. Oh, you got any fingers? Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey, suggest me. Yeah, I'm on Watch the 50s. Right, right, yeah, right. right, slowly down. Slowly down. And that's good. Back to you. They will adjust it. Is that heavy? Slightly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Light as can be. We're doing Light good, though, you know? No, it's fine. Yeah, we can rotate the one that Harvey House. Harvey House. Yeah. Harvey House. Nicole. Okay, guys, we're starting guys to awesome. Where awesome. Where is amazing. Uh, it's in the old train station. Sometimes Harvey House. I know. That like, nah, cool. like, I like the girls. <laughs> the <laughs> Come back over here. <laughs> So, I don't know if they told you, but it's definitely a no dog campus. Oh, really? Yeah, no. <laughs> someone com someone complained yesterday about catching really? dog. Yeah, really? Not your dog. Not your dog. But yeah, so oh. you'll end up being told. I'm not telling you. Oh. It's not official. Right not. Now. She's a service animal. Though. Keep going until. <laughs> She's a Actually, she'll support. make it official. They're, I'm not making it official. Somebody else uh, making it official. control will make it official. PSA. <laughs> yes. Yep. I gotta go do something. All right. <laughs> but you, you've been warned. <laughs> on our end, we're gonna put on a great event. We're gonna put on a great show for the athletes, a great test for the athletes, a great show for the uh, spectators and participants at home. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna represent that at the highest level possible. But more importantly, we're doing this to represent the community of CrossFit. And so we wanna show everyone obviously what's happening here, but we really wanna highlight uh, and expose the CrossFit community to the world at large. Oh, no, I'm going to go to the kickoff of the competition. Uh, I'm going to take a look to the athlete brief. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm not going to the individual athlete Let's go. I'm not going to the individual athlete briefing. I'm going to the kickoff of the game. So the games start right now with the uh, age groupers and. It's kind of a significant moment that I want to be there for. Are you driving? Yeah. Where do I sit in this? Anywhere. Oh. Don't dump me out. Nicole, do you ever drive? Yeah, a lot. Hi. Hi. Is there a way to get around? Uh, I need to get he'll through. Let you, he'll let okay. you through.
fuck? Oh, dude, I'm having a blast. Are people tripping? No. Nobody's pushing and saying, get away from me. A hundred people have fucking said, hey, welcome back. Yeah, a lot. 25 have taken pictures with me and had me sign autographs. Crazier than ever. That's more than me. That's not happening more than Well, I didn't know better. I think I was the man. Where are we staging? Where are the athletes? Okay, you wanna go where the athletes are? You cool. probably do. You want me to go drop them? No, I mean, you can walk. You wanna go where the athletes are? Uh, sure, yeah. They're over there. What's, 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 uh, what's going on? Why is everyone uh, just chilling? Well, I think they're doing half of us at a time. So they got half starting and then we're waiting around. We'll go second. Um, to get fitted or to ride? Get fitted and then I think we get a lap around. So we get to test out the, the course. We get one, one lap. lap. Is one lap enough? Probably not. <laughs> we'll make the most of it though. It'll be good to try it out. Have you ever been? Yeah, for uh, sure. How's the, uh, how's the scene? How's the vibe with all the... Uh, pretty good. I say it's pretty good. All the race horses. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's exciting. I don't think it's too intense yet. Everybody's still pretty chill right now. When you when you hear about this event, is uh, excited? Thumbs up? Pumped? Yeah, I think it's cool. The 40 minute cap's interesting. Like that's a long time to be on a bike. So, in a good way. Um, I think the grass and the gravel is going to be interesting because it's just going to be a lot of legs. It's going to burn pretty quickly. And where are your coaches? Coaches aren't allowed here right now. No, they're not. Just athletes. Yeah. Let me hear the secrets. Let me hear the secrets. We got secrets for you. Uh, you guys bump on this? Yeah. Get away from me. Get, I'm just kidding. Are you, are you guys, uh, are you gonna get the uh, seat adjusted to the right height? Uh, everything? No. Yeah. yeah. I hope so. This if we not, don't, then that's, 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 that's is, a right? rookie mistake, right? All about just getting the adjustments. Yeah. Whoever sets their bike up right is gonna win. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and since I thought you were a triathlete and you're not, um, uh, what do you think about the bike? I love it. I, I bike all the time. Anything monostructural, she's fantastic at. <laughs> but um, someone did very well on the bike in what 2017. Yes, yeah, pulling up my pants yeah. the entire time, but you know, it's a celebration, you know. If, like you choose, if you choose to look at it that way, instead of it being a nuisance, it's like it's a celebration of all the hard work that you've done. Get all to hang year, out with so. our frenzies. Yeah. When's the last time you guys saw each other? Semifinals. Uh, semifinals. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Um, I know that you overheard most of what I've discussed with the first year of the going to so I'll give you a little truncated version, but I want to make sure you do get all the information because it's really important, all right? So, um, again, the rotation is, we're going to talk to you a little bit about uh, what the course is. We're going to give a presentation on the bikes. From there, you go get your helmets in the next tent, fitted in size, get onto a bike that's fitted in size. From there, we'll go out the metal gate. There's a small little internal warm-up lap loop right here. Gives you an experience of what the bike is, the helmet fits, the bike fits. Once you're comfortable with all of those aspects, we'll send you out to the course to do one lap, let out by a head judge so you can see the entire of the course and experience the entire of the course. A good common rule of thumb for proper seat height, right about at your hip there. You'll see when I'm on the bike, I should be just tiptoeing. That'll give you a slight knee bend there. Yes. Just like riding a bike. Helmet sizing, everything like that will go over there. Yeah, I'm actually excited for this. Yeah. A biking, no high volume gymnastics involved with it. Different. When's the last time you've been on the bike? Uh, last week. Oh. Yeah. And how often are you incorporating biking into your training? Um, typically we try once a week. More road biking than this type of biking, but it's have some fun with it. So. Are you comfortable on a bike? Yeah. I used to be, I told you, tomboy, right? I used to do all that like BMX biking, like your kids, the skateboarding. That, they're actually fun to watch. Yeah. So, yeah, see how this goes. What size head are you? What size helmet were you? Small. Small. Bye. That would be epic if somebody carried it the whole time. All bike carry run. All bike. All the way to the next barricade. Off the bike, ladies. Hurry to the next All barricade. All bike. Next barricade. Here we go. Off the bike. Off the bike.
Off bike, off bike, off bike. Off bike, carry him All the way to the next barricade. Around the corner. What's going on? What are you guys doing? Uh, event two. Event two. We, uh, some farmers' carries and burpees into 50 war balls and 50 calorie row. Actually, oh, 40. And then reversed all the way back down. Hey, you're better meet. Did Depending you on the category. Did event one already happen? Yeah. It's happening in three minutes. Oh, okay. And so then you guys are prepping for event two. Two, yeah. Exactly. Awesome. We're on the right. Sweet. Two, one, take the field to play. Go, 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 go. Yeah, boys. Coaches on me. Corral him, then you can head out. So you, you can figure in real life, dude. <laughs> Eric Cohen, Michael Wall, Yvonne Howard. Good to see you here, Spawn. Hey, thanks, brother. Loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Is this a kickoff for you, event one? Well, it's one and two. So you roll right from one into two. No, uh, that could be a minute rest. And what age group are you? 60 to 64. Are you into the field of flying? So all of these dudes are 60 to 64. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Can you believe it? No. What end are you, uh, 60 or 64? I turned 60 last Christmas. So. So you're the young buck in the crew. The I'm, there's guys. several of us. The well, that's the way it usually works. There's, a, there's several of us that rolled up, rolled up this year. Uh, how many hey, I've been doing CrossFit for 10 years, with this being the ultimate goal. I'm a rookie. At 60. <laughs> on the field. Are, there, are there individuals? When do the individuals go to the um, bike ride? Okay. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Good, Good job, brother. Hey, man. How are you? Good. How are you? Man. Good, man. Good. Hey, thanks, babe. Hey, thanks. Hey. Ready to go, ready to go. All right, girl. Hey, hey. Josh Pedrick. Thanks, man. How you doing, buddy? Oh, my gosh, Josh. Good to see yeah, you. Yeah, I'll catch yeah, up yeah. later. All my old friends here, man. <laughs> How many CrossFit games? So this is number nine. Congratulations. I think, yeah, number nine. Thank you, yeah. I, uh, if you count 20, it's 10. 2020, because I made it, but then they canceled, you know, through the Masters Fitness. How you been doing? I'm great. Good to see I'm you, man. I'm great. I'm great. What's the plan for the weekend? Man, you just got to, one bit, one at a time, it's far from over. You know, you just got to do, you just got to head down, do everything you can, see where my fitness is at. After nine games, does any of it become more settling or more relaxed, or is it still no. intense and nerve wracking? Same nervous. I felt as nervous before this one as any. Yeah, absolutely. And do you ever think about just like, hey, wow, okay, I've done, I've, I've, I'm done? And, or? I do. Well, last year, I, I did take a break because I hadn't taken a break for like 10 years, only two weeks a year. And uh, this year I took a, I finally had to just stop everything, not knowing if I'd come back. My, you know, the fear at this age is always that if you take a break more than two weeks, you're never gonna come back. But I, uh, so it's an experiment, right? So, but I was able to take off a month in December and a little bit of January, still got ready for the open and did fine and continued to progress uh, the rest of the year, so. So yeah, but it's still, man. It's, it's you're a badass. You look amazing, brother. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you're appreciate man. you, man. Thank right. you. Later. Who am I? I'm Greg Hammond from Concept Two. And how long have you been with Concept Two? Uh, 27 years. Yeah, yeah I wish. Yeah. So I've been lucky enough to be involved with CrossFit since uh, since the game started. What are you doing here now? Like I'm seeing you watching. You're watching all these. Uh, the judges' all hands, basically. So the machines are set up for a calorie row right now which is pretty standard, it's not too bad. Uh, but if for some reason a machine acts up or something breaks or whatever, the, the judges will put up a fist and then we'll run out there and swap a machine. But, you know, thankfully that just rarely happens, if ever, but still want to be here, just make sure. I can only afford one of your pieces of equipment. Which one would I get? Oh, no, the bike, no, no, the rower, no, 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 no. It would be doing the rower and the skier. My personal favorite is the skier. It's my favorite, um, but you know, you can go outside and bike pretty easy. Um, hard to get on the water, not all easy to get on snow, and you know there's a lot of benefits to that total body on there. But they're all, you know, for me it's a skier. Let's go, Janina! Woo! Come on, Mom! Go, Mom, go! Yeah. Oh, 
hi, Sivan. How are you? Steve, really good. Good. Yeah, look at you. Did you go out there yet? No, I'm negotiating the, <laughs> the tire pressure. I like that negotiation. Negotiating. Is this the, like the bike master, this guy? I think so. I, I do a little bit. I'm not the master, that's for sure. Do you have a bike that fits him? We have a bike that fits everybody. You do? Wow. Wow. <laughs> You're from one of those countries. Where, where are you from again? Like Denmark? Or where Belgium. You? Belgium. You're from, one of those, yeah. You're from one of those countries where you guys live on a bike. You're born on a bike, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, we like biking in Belgium. and it's, That's why I was checking the, if we can adjust the measurements and if we can put tire pressure down. And what did they say? They are pretty hard, actually, at the moment. So luckily, it's a dry course. Otherwise, it would get very slippery. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. How are the boys? How are the boys treating you? The, the other CrossFit Games athletes? Yeah, they are very friendly and open arms. So that's nice. Yeah. Hey, Sharon, what's up, baby? Oh, how's it going, man? Good to see you. So and you? Catch up. How you doing? Yeah, yeah, good, man. Good. Yeah, good. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A bit tricky in the last week. I don't yeah. know if you heard with the coach and illness and all that. Are you taller than Yellow? What's up, Lazar? No, Yellow's a little taller than me. Oh, goodness. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the year of the big boys. Yeah. Like that. that's, a, that's a look I don't think I can pull out. Yo, please. Please, you're capable of anything. You go out as you. You can do anything. I don't have that. I need better Ooh. hair for that, I think. Justin could wear a visor like that. What? Or a golf visor like that. You have to turn the camera around so people can see what we're talking about. <laughs> My brother. How are you, man? Wonderful to see you. Good to see you. Welcome back. Thank, thank you. They removed your ban. Thank <laughs> It's good to have Was you. Was it official like that? I, I don't know. I, there, were, there were whispers. I like it. Make it weird. Make it yeah. Weird. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you always do it. So I'm throwing it right back at you. Can I try those headphones on? I want to hear what it sounds like. To, yeah. That's okay. Kind of. The thing is, let me get the full kit. I'll go hat and glasses. Backwards. Those are pretty comfortable. I just, I hear me though. Okay, yeah. Now you hear I do, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see the hat and the glasses too. Can I go full gear? Noah Matosian. Boom. <laughs> I try to be. I mean, you and I have known each other for we've known each other for a decade. Can I wear that as well? <laughs> Do I look good? <laughs> he looks good. What about the cam? Let's flip. Let's flip the whole thing around. No. Okay. You don't want to be on camera. That's too much. I can't handle it. Too. I have to let you know that 99 percent of the people walking the planet, I would have never let them do that. Oh wow! Thank you. I appreciate that. You could. You could have. It felt felt good though. Yeah. She's here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be good for you to see her as well. She's got my coach's pass, so she'll be in the back at times. Figured, why not have the uh, last one be special and do it together? It's good. It's cool. It feels like a different approach. Like, I think I'm looking at it a little bit differently. Hello. It's good to have him back, huh? Oh, it's nice to see your face. I'm, right? I was, this is my behind the scenes debut. Oh, like a little, I'm gonna feed you so much in Idaho this summer, you're gonna yeah, be full. Like a little, little, little bitch in real life. <laughs> 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 oh, bro, this is you look so cute, I wanna just hug you. Oh. Come on, come on, boys. Like be nice. He's like a real life little bitch. I don't think so. Your beard looks nice and cut. You look ready. Yeah, I brought a, I brought a shaver. And, good. Uh, yeah. I love that, bro. Yeah, everything's good. How tall are you? Uh, five. I'm just so light. Five, five what? Five are you taller than Colton? Where is Colton? Because he's over there. Has you have to do a measure off of him? Yeah, let's go. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> he's right here. Have you met him in person? No. no. Oh, he's going to be fine. <laughs> I don't know if it counts with the hat on. Oh! He's dope. He's dope to be here. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited for these bikes. I'm doing a lot of biking last year. You did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, does it, do you feel at home here? Like, hey, I've been here before. So, yeah. This year feels like a lot different than the last two. Uh, just like mindset wise and comfortability wise. Like, you kind of know how things are going to roll. and Just like, yeah, like you said, feel more at home. 
just feels like more natural being here now. Look at these guys. Holy shit, this is crazy, right? <laughs> It'll be fun. Just another day at the job for you? Just another day. Um, what, what, uh, bike? You bike a lot in the neighborhood as kids? Yeah, I remember uh, we'd, we'd ride on pegs, so we'd run, we'd ride uh, three people on a bike. So someone on the handlebars, someone on the back, and then someone driving. I was always driving. <laughs> so when they announce this, you're not intimidated at all? No, I think it'll be fun. I think, uh, I mean, it's something that a lot of people don't do, so I think it's uh, who did it as a child. <laughs> um, did you ride bike last year? Oh. I did. I did. I was, that was where I missed the lap gravel and you got wet grass no that's not right that's not this right. has got to be a mistake yeah. for Spencer Pagic he's running that's across the right. finish line <laughs> well I was waved in I could have sworn I did five I'll still take that one to the grave all right good, 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 good. any surprises 5k I think but I think that's always something that they've always uh, probably wanted to put in I thought we'd see a one mile before it but I mean 5k's not many people like to test that, so I think it's like right at that time that will hurt enough, but be a really good test. First one through 20, that group will be the first group that will go and get a helmet fitting and then onto the appropriate size bike. From there, that group will take a practice of a flag and signal you off the course at the race. Jake, our strike. We're going to tell you a couple things. So, sizing up the overall bike is going to be based off. Throw a leg over it? Yeah. I don't know. Feels pretty good to me. You're in, uh, you're in full biking apparel today. I'm ready. Yep. This is going to be a fun event. You look like the kind of kid who spent a lot of time on a bike in the neighborhood. Oh yeah, back in the day, yeah, yeah. for sure. Grew up on a bike, so I'm pretty comfortable here. Next. Uh, the days are long. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I forgot my snacks this morning too, so I'm starting to get hungry, so. <laughs> oh wow, no, you need that. We're gonna be leaving here soon. Well, I appreciate that, thank you. Look at that, chocolate chip cookie dough. It's like made of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. That's you know, I'm surprised you're part. eating this. I, it's, uh, I'm surprised you packed in this. A pinch, in a pinch. <laughs> Very glad to be here. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't take these for granted. You, you know? don't? No, not at all, dude. It's like, I might be 10 in, but like, Every single one of them could have been the last, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? And so like, I've always approached it that way. Always looked at it that manner, so. Um, when we watch from home, it, we, we, I shouldn't speak for the whole world, but we, yeah. kind of, we kind of think that you guys do take it for granted. You know what I mean? Totally. We just kind sure. of start to have this expectation that for you're sure. going to just make it every year. For sure, for sure. You know, and I'm sure that there's a, there's a bit of that, right? Because like, you've even heard like, already like this weekend, like people saying like, well, next year I'm going to, or. That's like there's like speech like that, right? And it's like you got to be careful because it's like next year is not guaranteed. It's never is, never is, you know. So um, yeah, no, absolutely. You got to you got to take it and like really soak every single one of them up. And if you do that, it's like all of them become their own experience. And it's fun to see new faces and old faces and all everything in between. And it's good to see you back here. Thank you. <laughs> it's really good to see you back here, man. You have friends here. Yeah, for sure. I talk around a bunch of different people. Point to them, just one. I don't know, I talked to Colton quite a bit. I talked to Chandler quite a bit. Is Colton's phone number on your phone? I do not. Oh. I do not have that. I think that's a little bit of a gross exaggeration yeah. to call him a friend. Yeah. How about Chandler? You got Chandler's number? I don't think I have Chandler's number oh, either. Whose phone number do you... I think everybody communicates through Instagram I, now. I have your number. Whose phone, phone number do I have? I have your phone number. I have your number. Yeah, okay. No, I'm pretty terrible at responding anyway. So even if I had somebody's number and they texted me, it'd probably be a week before they hear back. And what happens to the gym when you're here? The gym? Uh, basically, my coaches are running it, and then I go in back, and I work in the hotel and stuff, too, with all the downtime we have. I, like, still keep up on the programming, still keep up on emailing and messaging prospects and members and stuff, and booking for next week and stuff like that. When While I'm you're here, you'll keep working? Yeah. Does any part of you have trouble letting go of your life back there? Not really. I think my boss more has trouble with me letting go of my life back there, so... Yes, he messaged me yesterday. He was like, hey, there's some unread emails. Do you have somebody like taking all the emails while you're gone? I was like, no, I got it. Don't worry. 
I'll, I'll be fine. I got lots of downtime. I'll be in the hotel all day. So you're yeah. just doing this little thing called the CrossFit game. Yeah, right. Just doing a little side thing, quick. <laughs> Do you remember your first CrossFit game? Dude, like, like in color and texture. You know what I mean? I was reminiscing about like the the calmness that I have back in the back now, and like seeing some of the rookies and seeing feeling some of the pressure of some of the athletes and like just the angst and the nerves, or whatever. Um, and I can vividly remember. What it was like back in 2014, my rookie year, when Jason, Josh, and Rich were sitting in the back in, in, in the warm-up area in the athlete uh, athlete tent that we had back then. And like I remember watching them, and they just were sitting on the couch, calm as could be, shooting the breeze, hanging out. And I, I mean, I can remember that moment so vividly to like what the texture of the floor felt like in the sandbag I was on. Yeah. I, I, I washed my shorts in the sink. Yeah. I didn't wash it in the tub and hung up the dry. <laughs> I threw that shirt in the crowd and I that shirt too. One of those scenarios, right? And it was just like, it was a cool moment for me because it was like, I realized in that moment, my first year, I was like, oh, we can be calm at the CrossFit Games. You can soak it in and enjoy it and laugh and like you can be calm throughout the weekend and that was like I don't know it was like a, it was a kind of a cool moment that I just carried with me throughout my career. There's still care like you still want to perform really well. I get fired up to be on the floor and like I get fired up to be in front of the eyes of ten thousand people. Like it's electric, man. It's like it's so cool. So absolutely, that hasn't gone. So I don't miss it because I still got it. When you so. look over there, James Bay, what do you see? <laughs> oh, sorry. I mean. Him and Jack Ball, they see the future of the sport. You know what I mean? We're the two young guns. We have to pour out. Keep it light here. <laughs> a couple, a co couple of goofballs. <laughs> Do you think James has gone through puberty? Yet? He's definitely gone through puberty. I feel, like my balls dropped four years ago. Wow. Okay. No. Four years ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, they, yeah. No, so I'm did. really old. It was, like, it was like last year. Oh, I I can't talk about his puberty. I don't. I don't I barely hit it myself, so. How many kids you? I got one kid. I got one kid. He's two and seven months. Yeah, his name's Jack. Do you ever think you're doing it for your kid? I don't, no. Which is a really, that's actually a really interesting, you know, a lot of people will ask that or talk about that. Um, but I was doing this for so long before he came, he added a new layer, added another chamber to to everything in the, in the way that I perceive things. We may have a few bikes on the course and have a clear break. This is easy. Yeah. And this is hard. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. What's up, Simon? You feel at home on that thing? What's that? You feel at home on that thing? I do. You look like you were made for a bike. But, um, uh, you know, this is this is old school. People are now uh, biking on electric bikes and full expansions. But no, I like it. I like it. Super good. Super good. It's still a conditioning test, but I'll, I'll see how the the course is, if it's technical at all, or if it's mainly just like racing. Um, how important will aggression be, like establishing dominance? Is there a little bit of like a like most of the events is just you're out there by yourself. You know what I mean? You're just like yeah. Race, you're just <laughs> But now you're kind of like running yeah, with the bulls. Is there a little yeah, bit of like, hey, fuck you, I'll knock you off your bike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a little and, bit and, Until that first corner and until you like get with the lead group. I think you want to be with the lead group anyways. Uh, drafting is not as important as it is on the road bikes, but I think it matters to be like in the front and break away from maybe the guys that are a little bit slower. So uh, I'm going to try to do that. I am afraid that I'll be in the earlier heats, unfortunately. And I just need to find the best bikers here and stick with them, and then we'll do some damage. Okay. Yeah, about right. Don't break it, Jay. Don't break it. Imagine. This is gonna be your easy button. This is gonna be your harder button. Harder, faster, easier, slower. Rear brake, and you're holding the front brake right there. Ah, easy as that. You can just go out here and take the right. Uh, you can adjust it. You can the flies you're riding to make it feel just right for you. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah. Just don't get me fallen. What? Oh, yeah. Just don't get me fallen. Are you comfortable on the bike? We'll see. I don't know about grass. That's a new... That's going to be a new venture. Grass is meant to be smooth, not ridden on. That's exactly right. <laughs> We're just having fun. We don't care who sees. Finally, me.
each in person. Yep. Hard, very slippery. Yeah. The, the gravel was very, very slippery. Like there, there is a corner where people are gonna get smashed. And then just playing it smart on the gravel. Were any of the guys trying to game already or? Maybe, I mean, I kind of let them do their thing. I would like sprint the corners and then take it easy on the straights. You know, it's not, it's not made or lost today, but just feeling the bike out. Kick the tires a bit, you know? It's got two wheels, pedals, you know? Speaking of which. Brent, do you guys get to keep the bikes? No, I think you have the option to purchase them at a pretty good price if you want to. But you do not get to keep them. And by good, you mean expensive or good for you? I think they give them to you like as cheap as they could give them to you kind of thing. You get the first chance to buy them. And then I think if you don't want the bike, then I think the general population gets a chance. So someone could buy the bike that Fikowski rode? Yeah, someone someone bought one with my little sticker on it one year. And they're like, oh, like, you know, kind of like yeah, sent me a message cool. and stuff. It's kind of cool. A little, yeah. cool. How's it going, Swan? Yeah, you're good. good to see you, brother. Great to see you. Too, dude. Lit. You got it. Plan on that kind of is your target. Okay. And if you know the first time you go out, it's five minutes. Yeah, you're screwed. Yeah, you might. You might. Have. Just because you're going to have a yeah, that runs really long too, so that's where you can yeah. pass people because everywhere else is hard to pass. I almost, I almost hit a hay bale, like got taken out on one of the corners trying to hug the grass, but it was good though. Professional biker here, so it's helpful. Oh, you got a snot rocket. Right. Yeah, I used to. Is it blood? Yeah, you got a six pack. <laughs> I used to race cross bikes, so that's, that's you know. Give some tips here. In fact, I, I'm, I so want to get on that course. I, know I, you I keep do. asking people, can I? I wonder if I could ride that course. Yeah, I wish. Maybe How do you tomorrow. Guys know each other? We work out together. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. My pops worked worked with him, so yeah. he came in. Oh. Yeah. Worked out every once in a while. Yeah. Good. How did you get back here? What do you mean, how did I get back here? Are the coaches allowed back here? I don't know. I'm not a coach. He's not a oh, coach, oh, so oh. I don't even know. I, I was like, I'm not a coach. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah baby. So, I'm yeah, a workout months, partner. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Welcome yeah, after three, three months, months, so we're good. <laughs> Tomorrow, he's going to be like, hey, here's the footage I just exactly. posted no, last no. night. Exactly. Post on Instagram. Yeah. Hey, so you're just here as a fan. Yeah. And you just kind of mosey back here to see your boy Juan. Well, no, I actually know him. I, mean, I know, well, but yeah, he got mean, back yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, and I did the cowboy hat, and this thing makes you look like you're like. Yeah. You should hang a walkie-talkie from there. Yeah, he would. Oh, I could yeah. be official. No, you dude. think I could be my official? Parents, like my a parents are headed over here too. Yeah, they're yeah. his parents. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, is that legit? <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting me well, in trouble over here. With Roman's wife and girlfriends right there. No, that's no, like no, that's just she's allowed to. Oh, well, habla español. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Hey, dude. How you doing? Hey, sorry, didn't uh, we never got to catch up? But we did. No, it's all good. I wasn't about to wake up at whatever time. Yeah. The yeah, week yeah, leading up yeah, to the games, yeah, you know. No problem. Uh, but we'll definitely have to do that's it. That's mom and dad. That's mom and dad. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. I don't know how the heck they got back here, but I ain't mad. My wife was with them, so I guess she didn't want to risk it. Biking. Feels bike? like it's a, like a Thursday guys, ride for us. You guys bike a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. You bike a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Go we'll see on Thursday. Hey, how much of being out there in the biking is, um, because most of the stuff you guys do is just by yourself, you know what I mean? Like you're just on a pull up bar. Or yeah. Those, but this is like there's other dudes to bump shoulders with. Yeah, like, I mean. Is there a little bit of like, hey, if you come close to me, I'll fucking knock you over? I mean, not. We have play all play all keys, Evan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not those guys, but I can tell about three or three, three or four guys on that field that, you know? If they're too close for me, I'm gonna be, hey, back off, or you might regret it. You yeah, know? yeah, around the turns. I like this. I like how you guys are out there, and there's a chance to, you know, impose your little will on other dudes a little bit. Absolutely. On turns and. Yeah, I like I like the be the very beginning. They said we're all in two lines, and then Boz is like, the like pace bunny, almost like in a NASCAR. Yeah. Where we have to stay behind him, but we can get in front of each other if we want. And then once we get to a certain point, he's already going super fast. Like I'm going fast to even keep up with him, and we're in the warm-up lap. So oh, you guys demoed that already? Yeah, we just demoed that. So there's gonna be like people are gonna be throwing bows in the beginning. So it's a rolling start. Yeah. And but we're rolling 40. start. We were just 20. Yeah. All 40 are gonna roll start. So does the dude in the back have a disadvantage because he has like a few seconds less Maybe on the not. track? Maybe. I mean, I think so. Just for positioning. Yeah. I mean. You know, we used to ride together, so I mean, me and Luke's gonna try to draft each other because it's a good thing, and you know, should, I, think, I guess people should try to do the same if I was them. So yeah, too bad they're gonna see this video after. <laughs> Way after. Yeah. <laughs> hey, good. Is it, is it a good ass life? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Everything's good right now. Having fun. Can't um, complain. 
you have so much crazy potential. You're like yeah. these really like still I think, to, to, the, to the fandom and to the observer, such an unknown. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I prefer it that way to be honest. I don't really I'm getting a little bit more like publicity from like morning chocolate and stuff like that, but I don't really like it. I'd rather it just be like come here and just F it up, you know, compared to being expected to, you know. But nah I'm I'm here to win, so that's the plan. Um, how is this? You were at the games when there were only five athletes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was fun. I don't think they'll. I'm assuming there'll never be an experience like that again. And it was 100% different. It was more interaction with everybody, whether it's media people and whatnot. But that was just fun, to be honest. More talking between the athletes, a little less stress, stuff like that. And that was a good time. As you. Um it has a stress a little bit, but I mean, mentality going into it, even if I feel like it's not an amazing event, I just tell myself it's a good event, kind of a thing. Yeah. So whatever comes out, we're just going to make it happen. Are you the best uh, Sam Quant? Yes. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Um, every year, I mean, obviously you get better barring injuries and, and stuff like that, but we're healthy and we've had a good season of training high volume so all stats looking like I'm fitter and I feel fitter so make it happen good you guys do now I don't know good to go oh we're good we're done for the day we can go do what we want now the days are long huh yeah I mean Not when we're competing for sure but I mean, like, you had something yesterday, you have something Tuesday, you have something Wednesday, and the event doesn't start till Thursday, so it's they drag you out here every day. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. <laughs> but I'm planning to go see Indiana Jones Theater if you want to come with me. Really? Later. Serious? Yeah. Oh, that's nice, sitting in a nice AC theater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little popcorn, you know, get some carbs in. I'll be watching the theater in my hotel room. My feet kicked up. Rookie year, he's so nervous about it. No. Hey, I'm, I'll go on the uh, record to say this. We're we're gonna try to put all the mayhem guys in the top ten in this first event. Oh, I like it. Yeah, all the mayhem guys. I like it. Not not all of us mountain bike with Rich, but I feel like all the mayhem guys have some experience with like outdoor elements, like a mountain bike. So. There's a little bit of like, are you a guy or are you not a guy to this event? Like, yeah. did you not ride a bike? It's when like you growing were a kid up as a kid. Yeah, yeah. Richard Boys. Guys, I am signing up for the Open this year. I am so excited. I am so scared. Not scared, not excited. Anxious, titillated, up for the challenge. We'll do the Open together. If you're an affiliate and you have shitloads of signups, it's gonna be my honor to have you on my podcast. If I like you, you'll be a regular on the podcast. I want to uh, do my part to help humanity uh, be fitter, be braver, do better for themselves so they can do better for other people. I think doing the open makes me a better person. I'm up for the challenge. I want you to be up for the challenge. I want to be a part of something that brings us all closer together. I want to do something that supports uh, the CrossFit, the CrossFit Games, uh, the group of us that's out there that believes in personal accountability and personal responsibility. So that's why I'm doing it. I don't even want to do it. I'm scared to do it. But I know it's the right thing to do, so I'm going to do it. Three weeks are over, and I'm gonna be titillated, proud of myself. I'm gonna think I'm the shit because I completed it. And like I said, the affiliates that have the most participation, hit me up in the DMs, hit Sousa up, and I'd love to have you guys on the show and do my part in helping uh, support you guys and reward you guys for what you're doing for uh, your clients. See you on the leaderboard. <laughs>